So what's up everybody my name is Amshongo Sass and today I'm going to show you how to add highlights and make tones to make the image pop up. This is an image I've been working on before the name of the celebrity is Tasha and we've done the smudge, we've done a whole lot of things on the picture. Now I'm just going to add highlights and mid tones and make the image pop up. You're just going to see the difference. Duplicate this layer I've worked on before, Ctrl J. If you're confused on anything or you just don't know how to go about whatever you want to go about, please check out my previous videos, the link. You can just click up and then see what we've done before. But if you have a basic picture and you want to just make it pop up, now this is how to do it. So the next thing I want to pick is the highlight tool, the dodge tool, squad H, and then with the dodge, I can just you know I've duplicated it right, and I'll just make it 20. The first thing I want to do is add this mid tone and don't make it too shouty. Just add a little mid, just paint over here, give her this nice baby look, this nice baby look. So when you just paint it, just make sure you are not overdoing it, just little. When I started initially, I was always painting, I was just making it look so ridiculous. So, but it's not always nice like that. Probably just take a little step backward and learn human anatomy, it will help you a whole lot in doing what you want to do. Now with this, I can click on the shirt layer too to add the little highlight, add this little highlight here too. You know I want to give it a full shirt. So how do I give it a full shirt? It's just by basically creating false light and some other things like that. And we are not really artists. We are trying to just depict how you can get something awesome done. Now the next thing I want to go to is to use the bond tool. The bond tool is with this dodge. You can I custom made mine all. And you can just come to the bond tool, click on this layer. Remember everything we are working on, the colors and everything, they are on top of this main layer. So working on it under here. Can increase it remember to arrange your layers like this on, on your layer here this right side you would notice this color is on top of this place and i have the soft light the hair layer is on top of this place the bro and some other things so that everything you're working on will be under now if i take off this color and i paint here or something like that it's not going to be uniform but then when i add this place and paint it you see it's it's blending into it so hence you need to add a color layer so i can just Block this out a little bit, add the shadows where I want it, you know, it just gives you this artistic feel, right? You have a full control. That was why if you saw our pre-first video on how to oil paint, now that was what we talked about, about reducing the highlight and shadows so that you have a complete control over the picture you are, you are doing. Now, it may look very tedious, but I learned that to get the best things done, you have to use the best processes so oh, i didn't duplicate this before okay now with the bond i can just easily bond all these places to just basically give it the feel i want and just remember remember that i'm not doing a whole lot just a little bit one step at a time one day at a time and i can just come here choose the pen to come to this place i want to give something really 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 definite so the pen tool i can just go to to this place that the mouth is and come here come here from the shape of the lips that i want and press o enter 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 and with that i don't want to make it too much when you overdo it it just becomes very weird and unrealistic so so i'm just going to pretty much increase the speed a little bit so you just you just basically see what i'm doing and then know how to tweak yours and work on what you want to work on Okay, when it comes to the hair, what I want to do is this. I just want to add little highlight. Just a little highlight here. I don't want to make it too obvious. Just a little highlight. While adding the highlight, you can still add the bone too, to just burn it up a little bit. Don't make it too much. Don't make it too much. Just work on it a little bit. You know, just the aim is to make the picture pop up and to make it look catchy. Yeah, I think that's the word, catchy. 
but by the way i hope if you like this video can you leave a like and please make sure you subscribe for more videos to come on live tweaks so just just basically learn how or probably take out time to look at what disney characters and then try to make something like that done the fact that you're not a real artist doesn't mean you don't imagine that you cannot create everybody's an artist anyway the fact that you might not be very good with using pencils and colors and you're not learning how to da vinci does not mean you cannot get something really nice done so how about we just create something like this and this is nice you might not look so catchy but from here it's not bad now this is what we had before this is what we have now now it has this catchy barbie look to it barbie look to her and it's nice the output is getting nice already and that is what you can also do with the shirt i'm also impressed with the color of the shirt so you can just keep tweaking the shirt i'm just going to crop out some part of the shirt i want to focus on the face i want the focus to be on her face so i'm just going to do that so i can just bring up the highlights to 40 and add this just add this little sharp tweak to it it's called highlight and it's just like the icing on the cake these extra little things you do that is almost um, insignificant but it's very significant so you can just add all those little things but remember don't overdo it just a little and here on top of this place this color layer I can just add this little the brush too I can add this little I don't know what it's called eyeshadow I don't know what it's called really I think I'll have to ask my sister what it's called. So this, I think this is nice. Then probably add bluish. I think I'll make up for a good artist, makeup artist. You can, you can teach me how to do makeup, and I think I'll be a very good one. So this is pretty much it, and your art has popped up already. You can take as much detail on the shirt too, the way you would on the face. But to keep the tutorial short, I'm just not paying so much attention on the shirt. So that being said, I can just add a background. We've added a background in the previous video of how to add background. You can check it out in the link above. And this is the background we added. This is what we have now. So that being said, but the color of the face is way too hot for me. So I'll come to color balance and I'm just clip it to this place and just tweak it a little bit. A little bit like this i don't want it to be too hot and just touch it up a little bit to what you want but make sure you don't do it too much so it doesn't look so fake the highlights you can give it the color of the highlight you want make it something sparkling i noticed that adding a little green color and blue it just gives you this royal look so this is how i like it so you can just add yours so this what had before so have now see see one looks a lot classy you can just keep tweaking it until you have something really beautiful done i don't like when the saturation is too much on the human face so that is why i try to keep mine as low as possible then with that i can just work on this shirt a little bit increase this exposure to maybe 30 and remember i don't want to make it too shouty so i'm just going to touch it up uh, just just a little bit a little bit so this is what we have now now the next thing i want to do is just add a background so this is the background i added before and i just work on the brightness a little bit and remember how we added the background then with this i just want to take out this picture i press shift ctrl shift alternate e to merge or then i take it to liquify going to liquify I'm going to work on this picture a little bit to make it nice and have this barbie eyes you know all these little things that make out make the difference in whatever picture you're working on so what i want to do is this i want to scroll down i want to reduce the nose a little bit now it's just art and what you remember what i said you want to make the person look more beautiful than the person is normally and then how do you do it you know you want these guys to come back and be like wow that was awesome nobody pays you to make them look hideous or, or ugly so with this i'm going to make her jaw 
I think here is too sharp probably because of smudging so just gonna reduce it a little bit and this place doesn't look real at all so I'm just gonna re remove this curve so you can just do just bring the hand draw a little bit little bit a little bit and then make her smile more increase the face a little bit the smile make her smile more make her smile more so that's what we're going to do. We just do make her smile more make her look a lot more beautiful remember the aim is to make them look beautiful ladies like to look beautiful if you're a lady and you're watching this video it's true you guys like to look beautiful so that been done so i'm gonna press ok and you see the difference it doesn't look like much but it's a lot of difference so this is what i had before this is what i have now i think i should just put everything in a new layer so you notice what i'm talking about so i had before so i have now you know something catchy and artistic already you're an artist so congratulations if you made it this far you are a real mvp so i'm just gonna pretty much leave this out like this so this is armstrong Gusai signing out please make sure you like hit the subscribe button and this uh barbie looks beautiful hit the subscribe button like and follow me on instagram on twitter and what have you so i'm signing out bye bye